Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another pretty day here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Fall day. It's a uh, little cool, but still pretty. Uh, just kind of looking around this morning. Uh, one thing I do do is when I cut my firewood every fall, we burn, we eat our, heat our home with wood heat. And I'll look, see if there's any dead or trees, and just kind of clean up around the place to uh, get some of the firewood in for the winter. Uh, I typically try not to cut down. Uh, I mean, unless I need to cut a tree for some purpose other than just firewood. So, uh, but other than that, I typically don't cut. You know, unless it's a tree I need to take out for some other reason. Which then I will. But anyhow, uh, we're still working through the fall farm chore list, if you will. And uh, making some headway. We've got the hay home. In a previous video, you saw saw that. Uh, we're, we're trying to close out. we still got a little dab of cabbage to cut. Uh, some more cover crops to get in, which we hope to do this week. Uh, supposed to have some pretty weather the first week, then some rain and possibly some snow toward the end of the week. So uh, what we'll try to do is uh, get all the uh, cover crops in, hopefully get the cabbage in, maybe uh, get that plastic mulch up, and then we can start focusing on uh, fall and winter tillage uh, if we can. Uh, if we don't get it plowed in the fall, it's no big deal. We'll just plow it in the spring. And just kind of uh, got to roll with the punches sometimes farming. But anyhow, uh, kind of along those lines, uh, I've done a couple videos on, you know, how how we're looking to uh, maybe take a little different approach to some of our, some of our farming. And uh, one thing that I've kind of done since the last video is just sit down and looked at crops that were successful in the past. Uh, in other words, trying to get a, a good history on the different crops we've grown. Uh, one that we've uh, we've done well with is strawberries. Another one is sweet corn, and another one is pumpkins. Now, if we take those three crops strawberries, pumpkins, and sweet corn. Uh, we're doing strawberries very, very, we're dipping our toes in strawberries, if you will. But uh, if you look at them a little more in depth, what's well, concerned to strawberries? Uh, strawberries are risky. Uh, chance of late freeze, uh, disease, pest in issues can be a problem. They're very easily marketed. So it kind of balances out. Pumpkins. A uh, pretty easy crop to grow. Uh, pretty easy to get a good yield on. Marketing, on the other hand, can be hit or miss. So that kind of balances out. Sweet corn, we can grow it, we can sell it. The price can fluctuate greatly. So if you take those three and blend them together, uh, it's pretty stable for us. Now, with that being said, we'll also be trialing other crops and stuff. So, looking forward to 2020. We may up sweet corn, we may up pumpkin production. Uh, strawberries are already planted, they are what they are. Uh, may reduce the cabbage and the broccoli. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're thinking. Of course, we're still looking to add more cows. That's, that's another part of the farm that, uh, uh, we're still looking to do but uh, kind of give you an idea of where we're thinking where we're going we may also if we if we're doing pumpkins and we're doing corn and we're doing strawberries a lot of times it crops I like to call them partner crops so if you're growing let's say we're growing sweet corn so we're set up to grow corn uh, corn planter, fertility program, and everything. 
you know, if we want to dry, grow some dry corn. I'm not saying we're going to grow dry corn, but if we wanted to, it'd be a pretty easy addition. Same with pumpkins, more winter squash or something like that. It would be a pretty easy addition because the spray schedule's same, fertility schedule's same. Uh, everything's pretty similar, so you just dovetail it right in. And it may expand the marketing aspect of it by doing something a little different. Uh, some of the things we're looking at. Uh, there's other things too, kind of looking at on a, uh, you know, uh, as far as the farm is concerned. But for now, that's kind of what we're looking, you know, that's, that's where we're thinking. Uh, we are looking to add more cows. I may try to add a couple more this fall. Once I get the fence built and get these suckers out, I got to get the two cows bred back. Two weeks we go pick up Levi's other heifer. So uh, last year at this time, we owned zero cows. We're up to two, four, six, seven, and just sold three. So uh, we sold the Holsteins. Levi sold his Holsteins. So uh, bottle cats. But, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of looking at that. But because uh, we will be selling the two bull calves, the two Hereford bull calves, uh, I'll wean them next month. And we'll uh, we we'll either sell them at weaning or right after weaning, or I'll hold them over to a yearling and sell them for breeding stock. Either way. So if you need a good registered polled Hereford bull, young bull, let me know. We'll hook you up. But anyhow, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, probably take a day off work this week, possibly two. To try to get as much of this field work i like to get the cabbage out of the field i like to get the pumpkin patch cover cropped uh one of the corn patches cover cropped and get that plastic up that would be ideal then i start fencing and get wood in that's kind of the next <laughs> next layer if you will but anyhow if you want to follow along just kind of keep up with what we're doing uh and it's getting close to deer hunting season so we'll be getting into that before long. Uh, but uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you know when we put up a video. Uh, if you have a question, please ask it. If you have a comment, please do so. And uh, if you like the video, hit the little like button. And we appreciate it. And until next time, I am going to continue to enjoy my Sunday stroll through the woods here. Everybody take care of yourself, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.